we do not have all the time for second service he's the most high Lord oh, thank you just few minutes to get off your way <laughs> sometimes we just gotta let this thing be you know just let it be let's flow on it I feel God have you found it Psalm 73 25 to 28 will you please stand briefly at the reading of the word I just have 25 minutes Second service is in my greatest assignment. I think we need to increase the time. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth, upon earth that I desire beside thee. Read the next one. Come on, read it like you really mean it. One more time. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. But thou hast destroyed all them that go worrying from thee. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all your works. Father, let your word work wonders in the life of your people. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now hear me and hear me well. By the grace of God, we are looking at when everything seems to fail. When everything seems to fail. When you are on a crossroad of leading you to nowhere. Whom do I have in heaven? But today. Whom do I have on earth? But today. your closest friends disappoint you when it seems as though your sun will not shine when no understanding can fathom the way of God to bring you to the, your dream that you once know whom do I have in heaven but thee whom do I have on earth but thee the psalmist said, when my heart fails. But one thing I'm, I know. Hey, that you are right there. Did you hear that? He said, when my heart fails. Mm -hmm. 
when it looks as though you are behind your destiny God is right there oh God God is right there if you believe that let me hear your real amen the psalmist David, the most the favorite of God, says, I look up to the hills. He said, from whence? Come at my help. That word means I searched. I didn't see who can help me. But I come this morning with the word of God. God is bringing help to you. Amen. Jehovah is bringing help to you. Amen. Do you believe what I just said to you right now? Yes, sir. When you look up everywhere, help seem not to be in view. When you have done how much you know how to do, and yet men are still rumoring about you, I say you all kinds of things. I heard him say, say to them, how many of you were here on Friday? What did he say? I'm reaching out to you, and this morning he's saying, when everything seems to fail, Life, difficult times will make you look down. There is no man that is smarter than this. Now, when he, what you dreamt for is not forthcoming, it does not make you proud. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It doesn't make any man proud. He said, My heart fails me. My heart fails me because when I reason it, I didn't see a way out. When I tried to think about it, I didn't see the possibility of me being on my feet again. As a messenger, I bring a message to you. God said, I will reach out to you. was not the kind they thought God will visit. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? He was not their type. So when he was shouting and said, Son of God! Son of David! Have mercy on me. They said, I beg. He does not mind you. He doesn't mind you. He doesn't mind you means not your type. I hear what I'm saying. <laughs> hey God. Many of us today, under the influence of my voice, what is holding you is the words of men. What is putting your head down is what somebody said to you. Whose report do you believe? No, it's good to say yes, God. But please act it. Remember the scripture I showed you. Do it. Do you remember the scripture? Yes, sir. Do it. Every one of you wearing a coat of shame. Spiritually, I'll take it off from you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see this thing. God help me. Every one of you wearing a coat of shame. My little little Even if you were guilty yesterday, the Bible says, though your sins were as red as scarlet, I will make it as white as the wool. Hear the word of God. Let no man judge you on this. I come today with the word of God that sent me over you. God says, you will lift up your face in joy. If you believe the word of God, you will lift up your face in joy. You will reply to them that spoke to you. Tell them God has not forsaken me. You will go to somebody who will say to you, where does your salvation come from? Tell him, my God does not wear his water. He's the God that does all things. In his time, my Bible says, he maketh all things beautiful in his time. Ladies and gentlemen, not on your time, not upon your terms. It is in his time. Your time is not his time. Your time 
it's not his time. Lift your hand and shout it. Give me the keyboard. That's what I need. I need the key. Don't keep me quiet, please. Hear me? Look up. Look up. Look up. You are not created a failure. First Corinthians chapter 10, the Bible says, verse 13, there's no temptation that coming unto you. Such that is common. You're not the first. You will not be the last. Did you hear what I just said to you? You are not the first. It is the way you react to things that determine what happens to you. How do you see what you're going through? Do you know that a situation you say that is unbearable, somebody is praying like to be like you. Yes, you didn't hear what I just said. He yes, said, hey, all I have in my account is 5,000. Somebody doesn't have five couple. In fact, somebody does not have an account. Keyboard is like my play for you. Never again will any man make you to look down. I had that but lift your hands again. I said, never again will any situation make you to look down. Hear me, child of God. If men look down on you, the worst thing is for you to look down on yourself. Did you hear what I said? Let men tell whatever they like. Let them think whatever they think. If the Lord is on my side, I will not look down on myself. I know the God whom I believe. I know the God whom I serve. He will never fail me. The Bible said that I come close to him. He will not forsake them. He said, draw near to me. I will draw near to you. Lord, I'm near to you. I cannot be near to God. End up in shame. I cannot be near to God and end up in shame. Let them prophesy. Let them say what they like. I know the God that I serve. Lift your hand and say, Yeah! What's your part to happen? Show me something in Psalm 66. Psalm 66. Look at verse 8 to verse 12. Someone say, I will not end in shame. Whenever that thing fail, there's something that will not fail. The word of God. He said, My word will not return to me for until. Did you hear me? Until yes, I feel. Yes, sir. Oh, I cannot kneel before Jesus and bow down in shame. No way. No way. No way. Go ahead. No way. I cannot bow before you, Jesus. Hey! Somebody just gave you a wedding ring. You 
are praising because my God is faithful. You are praising because your God can. You are praising because your God can. Somebody shout it. Listen. No man will silence you. Yes, sir. Amen. Situation silent men who don't know their God. That's true. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen. Let me go. I still have 10 minutes. Why God gave you mouth is to change what men does not understand. If I don't like it, life and death is in my mouth. Yes, sir. I am a carrier of what can make a life yes, sir. and what can make death. So if they show me death, I said that's not what I see. Uh -huh. I will say what I see. Yeah. If they show me failure, yeah. I will say what I see. Yeah. Are you hearing yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So the decision is mine. Yes, sir. Yeah. You don't look down. Uh -huh. Failures are ladder. Yes, sir. That makes you better. Yes, sir. A ladder yes, that makes you better. Yes, sir. It is not enough. Uh -huh. It's a verb. Did you hear what I do? Yes, sir. It only describes a situation. It does not define you. Yes, sir. When I, when I go to school, when I know another one. Yes, sir. Whatever that describes you. Is a temporal. Yes, sir. Today you may be a manager. Tomorrow you'll be a director. Yes, sir. Meaning the description they use on you today uh -huh. is nothing permanent. Yes, sir. You didn't hear what I just yes, said to sir. you. Sir. Why don't you choose? The Bible says life and death is in the power of tongue. Hold on. He said, they that know it. Not every man. Yes. They that know it. Yes, sir. This mouth is given to you to reject what they gave you. Yes, sir. If they went to Babalawa, they spoke it out. Uh -huh. The Bible said, whether it will work or it will not work, it is in this place. Yes, sir. And they that know it, aren't you fortunate to know it? Yes, sir. Aren't you fortunate to know it? Yes, sir. Hear me and hear me well. No difficulties will bind you. Amen. You will not bow to any situation. Amen. You will not hide because of any situation. Amen. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? If the Lord is on our side, nobody can come against us. You don't serve a dead God, you serve a living God. He's the same yesterday, he's the same today. What he did for Isaiah, he will do for Moses. What he do for John, he will do for me. What he did for Joshua, he will do for me. Lift your hand and shout it! Psalm 66. Psalm 66. Verse 8. Did I say that? To verse 12. Alright. Okay, yes. And I said, in verse 9. Look at verse 9. I want to teach. He said, which holdeth our soul in life and suffered not our feet. Did you see it? Yes, sir. Meaning it does not permit you to fall. Uh -huh. Fall and failure is a choice. Yes, sir. It is what you call failure and how you define failure. For me, failure is what I didn't do well. And God gave me the chance to do it well. Yes, sir. Because there are some that failed, they couldn't rise. Uh -huh. I said there's a hope for a tree. Don't it be cut down by a scent. It's not a reno. Uh -huh. oh, not a flood. Uh -huh. Not a tank of water. If he can perceive the rain, water, if he can perceive it, there's a hope for it. Why will you think your hope is over? Why are you hiding? How long will you hide? How long will you hide? How long will you hide? Because of what men are saying. How 
long will you cry in your closet? Listen, there is something they call a prayer that is a cry. A cry because you do not know what to do. That's not your portion. In verse, well, look at it. Go back again. In verse 10, he said, For you, O oh God, have tasted us. Wait. What did God do? How does he do that? He said, Oh, ye sons of men, sons of Jacob, I have not called you but out of the furnace of fire. He said, What you call it a failure was actually a test. He said, You have also refined us by tests. He refines you. How many of you know that trouble brings the best out of you? Yes, sir. I told you something in the first service. I said, Failure. A beat your friends. Yes, sir. Failure. A beat your friends. Not everybody they follow you and be your friend. Yes, sir. Until when you see situation, some will change their number. Some will post you. Some will. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter how long. Though. There are some that are parasites. When they no longer get what they want, they will no longer come around. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But you see, if every man leave you, the Bible said your father and your mother may leave you, but not me. Yes, sir. You say, I have refined us as silver is refined. Child of God, how does silver get refined? Through fire. You see, this heat you're feeling. That your call situations is bringing your shape out. It's bringing your real person out. How many of you know you have learned by what you've been through? Yes, sir. No, it's only a fool that does not learn by what he has been through. That's the greatest true. teacher that teaches you without taking anything is situation. Yes, sir. That's what the Bible says. When thou pass, it is a if. Oh, come on now. Can I talk to you? He said, when thou pass, thy first kinds of temptation. He said, count it all. Why will I count it joy? Because what seems to be working against me is actually working for me. You become a better of you because of what you've been through. Yes, sir. You teach people. You talk to people. Yes, you advise people. From which volume do you get your work? From your experience. How many of you know you will live long enough yes, to give a counsel to somebody? He yes, said, I was once in this situation. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. My time is up. Lift your hands, everybody. Let me finish this. Did I say verse 12? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say, you brought us into the net and you lay affliction on our backs. Who did it? men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But yes, sir. I told you in grammar, anywhere you see bets, whatever that had happened is of no consequence. Yes, sir. You know what I said? Yes, sir. In grammar, I know both school no, but the little one where I go. Whatever that happens, once bet comes, uh -huh. whatever that has been before the bet yes, is of no consequence. Yes, sir. What may matter is what precedes yes, the bet. Sir. Hear me, it's a bet. Somebody shout bet. Yes. You brought us out. To where? Please fulfillment. Oh, you're not talking. To where? Please fulfillment. Listen, you can say he brought us, us to fulfillment. It's correct. He said, Rich. Yes, sir. I thought somebody would be happy. Yes, sir. But, but what you have been through, you are not ending up like an ordinary man. Yes, sir. Do I have children of God in this house? Yes, sir. I came with a word for you. You are not ending like your friends ended. Yes, sir. You are not ending like your mother ended. Yes, sir. You are not ending like your father ended. Yes, he brought you out despite all you've been through. Yes, sir. Into a rich, rich in gold, rich in silver, rich in understanding, rich in good health, yes, sir. rich, 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 rich. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, rich defines the value yes, of your fulfillment. Uh -huh. 
come from me. What you went through, I brought you out of it. Why don't you trust me for your next phase of life? Can't you see? I'm interested in you. Can't you know that I'm interested in you? Say and the Lord says, we have a for you. Say the Lord. Stop running. Stop running. Let the past be the past. I am the God who delivered you. What did you do when I delivered you? You can't run away from me. You can't run away. I thought you have some things to use. He said, I call you beloved. I call you beloved. When you can't run away from me, say the Lord. Serve him, sir. Serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Shh. Listen, stand up here. For three Sundays, I've resisted speaking to you. Now, hold her, please. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Even your gift to serve God, they mocked you. They misunderstand you. But listen, God said, it is me, not them. Say, come out. It's enough. It's enough. All you've been through, He helped you. You would have been dead today. He saved you. He severed your feet for a purpose. Don't run from Him. Stand sure. You went to it so that you can be an ambassador to tell the story how you overcame. He said, I kept you, I kept you, I kept you not for a show of men, I kept you as my best. I preserve you, take the grace from today. You will manifest grace no more. Voice of men shall not work against you anymore. I install you into your place. I put you where God has placed you. You were manifest. You didn't come here in vain. You came that the Lord will walk on you. Receive your freedom. Somebody say he brought me out. He brought me out. Look at where God brought you from. Look at it. Where you brought you from yesterday, your story has changed this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you hear what I just said? Hey! Your story has changed this morning. Yes, sir. If they were right yesterday, they cannot be right today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. If they were right yesterday, they are not right today. Why? He brought me out hey! to reach. Fulfillment. God bless you.